guys, Fletcher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today I've got another novelization collection video. I know you love it uh, because um, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a part two, and I decided I I checked the last video uh, when I did that, and that was like uh, 21st of May, 27th of May. I don't know. I don't really remember, but it was somewhere around May, and I know it's it's in a week or so. Um, uh, unfortunately, I will be uh, in Bonaire in a week. Yeah, I've been getting lots of requests to do it, and I thought now is the perfect time, uh, exactly one year after the 2018 edition, to do my 2019 edition. Um, so without further ado, let's start with uh, basically part two. These are all, uh, like in my last video, in the one from one year ago, I showed like all novelizations I had. Uh, and so these are all the ones that I got in between that year. And I've got a few um, from like friends of mine or something, like gifts. So I'll definitely mention that whenever there's a gift uh, in store for us. Uh, the first one is not a gift, but definitely a gift for me uh, to read it because it was hella amazing. It's The Abyss by Orson Scott Card. Man, this is... Oh, we're starting off with the best because this is the best novelization ever. I gotta be honest. This is my second favorite movie. My favorite movie is The Shining. This movie is fucking awesome. Uh, I don't like to swear a lot on my channel, but I just did because this movie deserves it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's written by Orson Scott Card, and basically the first chapters, what they really are, are uh, chapters where about the main three characters. So the first one is about Bud, I believe, then like Lindsay and after the coffee. At least there's like... Uh, yeah, the first one is definitely Buddy. Uh, and you also get this, like schematics from the Deep Core 2. Like from all different levels of the uh, ship. Or station, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, as you can see over here. It's uh, about Buddy, Lindsay, and Coffee. So that's so awesome. These uh, It really adds so much character development. These chapters, they're... Uh, if you're a fan of the abyss, anyone should read this. If you're, I mean, you're not you're not a true fan of the abyss if you haven't read this because it's amazing. It's unlike any other novelization. Let's just say that because it adds a lot, and the motivations in the movie make lots more sense after it. So uh, I highly recommend it. Next up, we have a very underrated Bond film. Uh, I think because I actually really enjoy it. It's Moonraker. And um, for some reason, someone thought, hey, let's get a blue marker, unremovable marker, and just put a fucking cross through Roger Moore. Just swore again, I know. And we have License to Kill, which is my favorite Bond film. Big horror fan, big gore fan, so uh, it makes sense. Then we have Child's Play 3. Rare novelization. And uh, I got this one from Ron. He sent this to me. Um, I asked him if he could buy it. Well, you know, I, the whole story is in the uh, Loot Raid unboxing. Um, but basically, he sent this to me uh, because it wouldn't ship to the Netherlands. That's all I'll say. I'll leave it there. Uh, but that was really nice. Definitely had to mention that. Next up, we have The Fog with the best cover. There's also another cover that looks like a junior novel. This one is really awesome with the hand coming out of the fog. That's so awesome. This looks so vintage too. Like with the sort of yellowish white and these vintage photos. I love that. It's by Bantam Books. They did another John Carpenter novelization, which I'll get to later. Now we get to the best part of my collection, undoubtedly. And, um,. It's a whole segment, it's like 13 something books, and uh, it has to do something with the, the um, number 13 too, because it's Freddy versus Jason. Uh, yeah, I got this one from uh, David, David Bergantino sent this to me, so that was really cool. Just had to show that for the intro for the Freddy versus Jason segment, because I love the Freddy versus Jason segment. With my Halloween shirt and a Freddy claw, makes sense. Ah uh, yeah, here we go. We have The Nightmares on Elm Street, parts 1, 2, and 3, the continuing story. Uh, so, again, just like with The Fog, actually, 
just love uh, the vintage photos on the back with like the yellowish white <laughs> and the photo of Freddy Krueger over there that's so cool this was a pretty fast read like I read like the first movie in like 30 minutes or something I think and uh, part 3 is actually severely different from the uh, actual movie hey, that one it differs a lot and it's actually pretty interesting I highly recommend that uh, for Dream Warrior fans because that's actually quite interesting to read okay what do we have next right the Nightmare Zone Street part 4 and 5 the Dream Master and the Dream Child So yeah, again, so beware, you doze, you die. I believe this was also like on a vinyl uh, record, like this photo. And again, this is black and white photos from the movies, which I always love when they put these uh, photos in there. Because uh, before VHS, this was the only way to see uh, scenes from the movie again. Or, yeah, well, I think when this book came out, there were already... Uh, uh, VHS stage, I'm pretty sure about that, but uh, it's still really cool. Now we get a novelization that's actually written by a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine. This is Wes Craven's New Nightmare, written by David Bergantino. This was actually the, uh, the way we met, because I read this and wanted to interview him for the channel, so we did, and then uh, we became friends, actually. So that's really cool. Again, all these cool black and white photos. And these two are also written by him, and he actually sent him the, the he actually sent these to me personally. Um, this is Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror. Uh, this is Twice Burned. This is like a uh, cover that sort of opens up, as you can see, and it has a cool picture inside. And uh, he sent this to me with the claws, by the way. But he didn't only just send his book, he also signed it for me. So uh, this one says, To Roger, keep on slashing, keep on peppering. Best David. That's awesome. And he also signed this one for me, which is Freddy Krueger's Tales of Terror, Help Wanted. So yeah, these are basically like Goosebumps style, style books, um, which I can't read to read those, because I've read like all of them. All of the Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th books. Like at least the ones I have, not <laughs> every single one of them. To Slasher Pepper, keep on making videos and movies. Turn nightmares into dreams. And then his signature. So yeah, really cool. Uh, David again, thank you so much for sending me. I am extremely happy with these two. They're a really nice collection to the. They're a really nice addition to the collection, and then we get to the Black Flame books, which are undoubtedly the best Nine One Elm books I've read so far. Which is Suffer the Children. This one is written by David Bishop. I won't talk too much about these because I've done separate reviews on them. Uh, and I'll do a discussion video about all of the old series with. Uh, uh, Joshua Wayne LaRue uh, from the A Slasher Librarian and uh, I don't want to talk about it too much now so I can save it for that video just so you know it so I'll just show them and I'm gonna show Dreams Bomb which is my favorite in the series Protege which is my second favorite in the series this one is written by Tim Wagner who I'll actually interview soon sooner rather than later um, then we have the Dream Dealers, which definitely had the best and most interesting and original concept and story. Then the one that um, that's the barrier between Freddy books and Jason books, Freddy vs. Jason. It has like photos of some of the characters there, and one over here. Okay, so... Um, the fact that I do have this in my collection is absolutely insane to me uh, and insane, should be insane to anyone 
but I do somehow. I got so lucky because I got this one for free. It's Friday the thirteenth. I know. Uh, how do you manage to get Friday the fucking thirteenth for free? Um. Well, I'll tell you the story. I, I already said it in the unboxing video of this book, but um, I got this one uh, from a good friend of mine, Kitty, and uh, we always talk about novelizations, especially Friday the 13th novelizations. So uh, she sent it to me because she already had this one, uh, but I was a seller on eBay sending parts 1, uh, 2, 3, and part 6. and it was like three hundred seventy-five dollars, and you know I'm not gonna buy that because I'm only sixteen years old. You know that'd be fucking insane. So uh, I sent the link to her to the uh, to the seller, and she basically bought them, and she had two copies of Friday the Thirteenth Part One. So yeah, you know what happens next? She sent it to me, and I was I I didn't expect her to even do that. I I was just like, hey, here's the Here's a seller. Maybe I want to make her happy, but in the end, she made me happy too. Uh, so yeah, that's really awesome, and uh, I'll be forever thankful for Friday the Thirteenth. It's a really good read too. Simon Hawk is uh, Simon Hawk, however you want to pronounce it, is amazing. Friday the Thirteenth, Part Three, Three D. Um, yeah, I did an unboxing on this one too, and this actually <laughs> has Jason laughing. This also has vintage black and white photos, but it actually has Jason laughing because they didn't know what to do with Jason yet, so uh, they were just like, oh yeah, maybe we can make him laugh. So it's based on an early draft. I believe um, there are even some things in this book, like character names that are completely different in the movie. So it's an interesting uh, read, to say the least. Then Friday the 13th, part 6, Jason Lives. Also by Simon Hawk, which again has this white, <laughs> uh, yellowish tint to it on the back. Unfortunately, not a uh, cool photo. Well, there are like you can have, you do have photos over here, so I guess that that makes up for it. Okay, this stack is getting pretty tall, so I'll just move this over here. Oh, I love this one too. This is Jason X, Planet of the Beast. I actually love Jason X, like the movie too. <laughs> it's, I actually think that's a really cool movie. I really enjoy it. Then we have Death Moon. I'll be getting to the third power too. Uh, Joshua Wayne LaRue will be sending that one to me um, once he narrates it on his channel. So uh, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to get that one as well. Now here's one that a lot of people are going to love too. Halloween by Curtis Richards. This is uh, the better cover, I think. This is like, you know, the cover that's on my shirt too. <laughs> but <laughs> this is like the actual movie poster, you know. There's another one that has this like on the cover, which, I mean, what, what is this? What makes it look like a fucking... Makes it look like a junior novel or something. But yeah, as I said, with the fog, I have another uh, John Carpenter based novelization that's also a pan band of books. So uh, yeah, Halloween, trick or treat, or die. I think there's even like a, uh, yeah, it's over here. This is my ticket. It was my ticket to, um, yeah, I'll just throw this away. Because now I just have this. But uh, this is the ticket to the John Carpenter concert. It was only like 35 euros, so it was extremely cheap to go there. And I loved the concert, it was amazing. He played like The Fog and Halloween. I, I geeked out. Then we have Halloween. Not to be confused with the 1978 Halloween or Rob Zombie's Halloween. No, this is. Halloween 2. Well, not Halloween 2 from the sequel from 1980 or something. And also not the Halloween 2 from Rob Zombie. No, this is Halloween 2018. Oh, that joke is getting old. <laughs> anyway, this I got freaked out when this was announced that they were making a novelization. I was like, 
Oh, they're making a novelization of the new Halloween? That's so awesome, because I didn't do that since Halloween 4. So uh, I was I freaked out. Here's one of my favorite comedies of all time, Inner Space. It's a really thin novelization, as you can see. Then we have another one that got sent to me. Uh, and by the way, if anyone wants to send me novelizations or a Blu-ray or anything else, um, just contact me because uh, I'm always happy with my gifts. And whenever I show them, I always say who sent them to me. I never forget that. Uh, but we have Iron Man. This one got sent to, by, to me by uh, the fantastic Mr. Ethan. Uh, no, seriously, fantastic Mr. Ethan. That's his name on Instagram. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below to his channel or channel no uh, Instagram. Then we have Crawl, which actually has a great story behind it. Why I got this because I hadn't seen the movie when I uh, got this actually. But um, so we went to this book market and uh, I saw a lot of the posts on Instagram about the Crawl novelization, and I thought, what the hell is that movie? That looks pretty interesting. And uh, so we went to this book market and uh, I actually saw this book and for some reason when I saw the book on Instagram so much I was like maybe I'll see it at the book market and I actually did so I had to get it just for that and uh, yeah I later watched the movie and I actually really enjoyed the movie too so uh, that's uh, some evidence of faith. Then we have The Legacy <laughs> with, just, with just a cover. That tries to be scary, just falls flat on its ass and its face. A pretty good movie though, I really enjoyed the movie. And it's actually quite funny because I believe the movie flopped, but the book was actually a best-selling novel. I actually have more books by John Coyne, hold on a second. Yeah, I actually have these two. So, Piercing, it's also written by him, and he also wrote Hobgoblin. Which actually opens up. Then here we have another whole series again. Well, it's not complete yet, but uh, we have The Omen by David Seltzer. Damien Omen 2, which I actually really enjoy as well. Uh, this is a spin off book from The Omen, but it's Omen 4, Armageddon 2000. And then Armageddon The Ob Abomination. Uh, so, yeah. There's the Omen series, and only six left. Outland, this is actually a movie with uh, Sean Connery, like it's in space or something. Even in space, the ultimate enemy is a man. Uh, now here's one that I already showed last year, but... Uh, for multiple reasons I'm I'm showing it again but it's Mission Impossible and the reason I'm showing that again is because I actually have this edition now too I believe this is like the UK edition and this is like the American edition uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if this if which one is the American and which one is the UK edition then we have a novelization that I also had last year uh, but I'm showing it again because I, I I didn't know it was a novelization. I thought it was a random horror novel that uh, sh should be put here. I like my other horror novels. But it's actually a novelization. I didn't know that. Uh, but it's Patrick. A colleague of mine's name is Patrick as well. It actually has like rat, red colors on the side. Now... The Fantastic Mr. Ethan didn't only send Iron Man, but also Planet of the Apes. So, uh, yeah. Again, super awesome that uh, he sent this to me. It also has pictures. I actually don't mind this movie. I think it's pretty good. I think it's fine for what it is, really. And then we have The Predator. Last. For multiple people, least. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I especially enjoyed uh, the book. I think the book's a lot better than the movie. Because you don't have CGI blood, you know? And, um... 
I actually read this before I saw the movie because it was rated R and I'm not 16, I wasn't 16 then yet, so I couldn't see it. Um, I also did this with the Halloween novelization actually, so uh, I read the book before I saw the movie, just like Halloween. Anyway, those are all the novelization I have to show for this year. Make sure you come back in exactly a year now um, because I'm planning to do another novelization collection video. It depends on how many novelizations I buy really. Because if I don't buy that many, I'll probably show my times too. Because over here, for example, you can already see The Shining. Over here, you can see The Meg. So, you know, I might uh, make it a novelization and time collection next year. And um, this is the third annual. And next year, it's the fourth annual. And for the fifth annual, I'm going to show my entire collection through one sitting. So, just to... Uh, Give you a uh, imagination of what that's going to be like. It's going to be this entire row and this and this that I showed you and all the novelization that I already had uh, or am going to buy in the future. <laughs> so um, that's going to be like an hour video or something. Uh, but I, I'm looking forward to it because that's going to be like not just a collection video. That's going to be a uh, a challenge, really. Uh, but yeah, it's these are my favorite types of videos to do, really, uh, because I just enjoy, enjoy uh, sharing my collection and passion with other people. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this one, and uh, I'll see you guys later. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not